while protesters have dispersed after handing in their memorandum outside of the Sentin Convention Center where the SA Investment Conference is taking place. To me, with me right now, I have um, the president of SABDSM Coalition to tell us about their demands on what the memorandum was saying. Thank you for joining us. Please tell us, what are your demands? Thank you. Well, the South African BDS coalition has been standing with the clover workers since the Israeli, the apartheid Israeli company, subsidiary of CBC Bottling in Israel, now called Milko South Africa, took over clover, the largest dairy company in South Africa. As we warned the government at the time, the Competition Commission, this type of apartheid investment in a post-apartheid South Africa cannot be acceptable and indeed it has led to retrenchments, it's led to wage cuts, austerity measures being imposed on South African workers, job losses, which is why they're now into the fifth month of a strike and are calling on people to boycott clover products until they can get full reinstatement and full conditions um, of work returned to them. But this is typical of the type of investment that's coming from countries, particularly like apartheid Israel, which, which is where the call for BDS comes from, to say that these companies are not interested in growing our economy. They're not interested in creating jobs and improving the lives of people and workers in South Africa. It's for short-term rewards. It's coming into com countries, buying up companies for short-term profit, which goes to the shareholders, not to the interests of the workers in South Africa. And this is a typical example. Furthermore, to have investments allowed by a post-apartheid government from a country that has clearly now been, even yesterday, the UN Special Rapporteur for the occupied Palestinian territories, again, following on from many other reports, such as Anthony, uh, Amnesty International last month, declared Israel an apartheid state under the definition in the apartheid convention. How is it possible an apartheid company that's complicit in the oppression of the Palestinian people in the occupied territories of Palestine coming here and decimating jobs, decimating working conditions in South Africa, which we know is the most already unequal country in the world. And when are you expecting a reply from the presidency? Well, we've demanded a response to the memorandum we handed over today by Monday. The strike, as I said, is now in its fifth month. It's unacceptable that Clover Management and the government have not found a way to unlock a process that will lead to full reinstatement of the workers, to decent pay and conditions so people can live a normal life. Workers in South Africa can survive. Thank you so much for your time. Well, that was the president of the South African BDSM coalition telling us that workers have had enough with investors coming into the country and not contributing to job creation in the country.